In September 2007, NASA's Dawn spacecraft began its historic journey to the giant asteroid Vesta and then onto the Earth's closest dwarf planet, Ceres. The mission was designed to study the two largest objects within the main asteroid belt that can be located between Mars and Jupiter. Vesta and Ceres are both diverse objects that offer a scientific snapshot of the solar system's early history and so allow us to almost look back in time. The incredible data that Dawn beamed back to Earth during its 11-year mission gave scientists the chance to compare the two planet-like worlds, both of which formed very differently, providing us with an insight into how terrestrial planets like ours form. After launching from Cape Canaveral, Florida, the Dawn spacecraft travelled to Mars, where it received a gravity assist that boosted its velocity and placed it on the right trajectory to reach Vesta. For 1.7 billion miles, the spacecraft drifted through the darkness of space, until in May 2011, Vesta came into view and Dawn captured its first image of the mighty asteroid. This bare but beautiful image was taken during Dawn's final approach to Vesta from 750,000 miles away and reveals the asteroid as a small, distant white pearl against a speckled black backdrop. In July 2011, Dawn entered into an orbit around Vesta, becoming the first spacecraft to orbit an object within the asteroid belt. It captured hundreds of images and discovered that the bright asteroid is a rough world that is covered with deep craters and huge mountains. This high-resolution close-up image exposes the asteroid's southern hemisphere. You can see multiple large and small craters scattered across its chaotic surface, but also strange grooves that stretch around Vesta's equator. These enormous features are likely the scars of gigantic ancient collisions, and each groove is estimated to be at least six miles wide. One of the more striking features on Vesta can be found in the Northern Hemisphere and is a set of impact craters that have been nicknamed the Snowman. This image reveals three craters of different sizes and shapes that are linked at the rim and form an enormous cosmic snowman unlike any other in the solar system. The Dawn spacecraft spent almost a year in orbit around this unusual asteroid and beamed back hundreds of magnificent images. But it also confirmed that Vesta is unlike other known asteroids and instead resembles a small planet. The close-up data collected revealed that Vesta is indeed a planetary building block known as a protoplanet, and so it is layered with an iron core, a mantle and a rocky crust as previously suspected by scientists. It is thought that Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars originally started like Vesta before forming into the giant worlds that we see today. After studying Vesta for almost a year, in September 2012, Dawn departed the mysterious protoplanet and began the next stage of its mission, the long journey to our closest dwarf planet, Ceres. Around two and a half years and 3.1 billion miles later, Dawn finally arrived at the dwarf world and began capturing hundreds of stunning close-up images. In March 2015, Dawn became the first spacecraft to orbit two celestial objects and the first to visit a dwarf planet, just beating the more famous New Horizons that was on a mission to Pluto and arrived there only a few months later. Ceres is by far the largest object within the asteroid belt, with a diameter of 588 miles across 
Its massive size and roundness means it qualifies as a dwarf planet, but not a main planet, as it failed to clear out its orbit of smaller objects. The mysterious dwarf planet is covered with countless young craters that seem to smooth out over time due to a layer of ice just below its surface. One of the more fascinating craters on Ceres is called the Okata Crater and is where one of the brightest spots on the dwarf planet can be located. This image gives us an incredible bird's eye view directly over the top and reveals a bright dome at the centre that has been named Cerelia Facula. The bright spots are thought to be either salt deposits from vaporised ice that has been exposed by ancient impacts or ammonia-rich clay, which according to scientists could suggest that Ceres originally formed in the outer solar system and migrated in billions of years ago. However, neither of these theories have been confirmed. A unique feature on Ceres is a single, lonely mountain that has been named Ahuna Mons. Researchers think that the mountain is actually a dead cryovolcano that once erupted ice instead of hot magma like we see on Earth. There is also evidence to suggest that it was once surrounded by other cryovolcanoes, but over time the icy mountains slowly flowed back onto the surface, strangely leaving Ahuna Mons all on its own. Ceres appears as a scarred, barren world that is covered in fascinating features, and discoveries like the flowing ice that formed Ahuna Mons, plus the possible presence of salts within the craters, suggest that an ancient, global ocean also once existed below the crust of Ceres, and it may still be there today. The amazing discoveries made by Dawn have revealed that Ceres isn't just a giant, icy object dominating the asteroid belt, but instead a rich, evolving world that can teach us a lot about our solar system and how our planet originally formed. However, in November 2018, after 11 years in space, NASA announced that Dawn had run out of fuel and that the mission that explored Vesta and Ceres for the first time was now over. Dawn managed to capture thousands of never-seen-before close-up images of these mysterious worlds and helped to answer some of the solar system's most burning questions. In fact, the amount of data that Dawn beamed back will keep scientists busy for decades as they analyse the information and no doubt make further incredible discoveries. Although the spacecraft ran out of fuel, Dawn will continue to orbit Ceres in an uncontrolled but stable state for another 50 years before crashing into the surface of the dwarf planet. But until then, it will drift around the icy world as another relic of our magnificent space-exploring history. <laughs>